In this video, we're going to look at some different ways that you can upload a file, like a Word document, PowerPoint, Excel spreadsheet, or whatever, into the new content experience in D2L. First, you want to navigate to the course that you want to work in. And with the new content experience, the layout will be a little bit different than what you have seen before. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate down here um, to my sandbox and I'm going to click in and show you what this looks like. Once you're in the course you want to work in, click the content link in the nav bar and it will take you to the new content experience. If you want to turn the new content experience off, click this arrow right here. It will give you an opportunity to turn it off. If you turn it off, give a reason why. Um, but here we go. I've got modules laid out and when I click the down arrow, the entire module displays. I'm going to click the add button and choose HTML document. This brings up what we're used to seeing when we design our content. Now the look is just a little bit different, but it's all of the same things. The content page that we can put our directions into, uh, where you can add bulleted lists, uh, all those things that you've done previously, you now do here in the exact same way. So I'm going to add some instructions that I want my students to follow. I'm going to include a bulleted list of items for them to do for second and third. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a Word document for my students to download. So this Word document will not be something that they can actually read in D2L. They'll have to download this and open it in Microsoft Word. To do that, I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to locate the file that I want to use. It's going to be this guiding questions file with UDL. So open that and then upload it. Once the file processes after it's been uploaded, it's going to ask you to provide a link text. So give the text that you want associated with this particular file. So this will be my UDL Word document. I'm going to insert it and there it is, a link for your students to click on that will download this Word document for them to edit. So there's the instructions, click the, click the hot link here and then you'll notice in the bottom left hand corner the file has downloaded into my web browser. So this is how it's going to look. However, this document will not be visible for students to read on a mobile device. So if they're on a tablet or looking at their phone, they will not be able to read this. So how can we do that? Click the add button and now what we're going to do is not click the HTML document. That's where we just were, but we're going to click more activities. And since we just uploaded this file, it's going to be a course file that's now available to us. So I'm going to go into my course file. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to my UDL stuff. I picked a letter at the bottom of the alphabet. So there's my guiding questions document. And now when I choose it, it is converted from a Word document to a PDF document. That's what's happening right now. That's why you see the spinning circle. And once it gets converted, the file will be viewable as a PDF file. Every web browser allows the opportunity for um, these sorts of files to be displayed. And if a student downloads this file, they will download a PDF version of this file. So there you go. There's two different ways that you can upload files for your students. So think about how you need them to interact with those files uh, in your course. And as always, if you have any questions, you can email us at d2lhelp at okcu.edu.